How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with, um, I guess, a walkthrough. Um, I did a walkthrough. Um, it's a little bit different of a walkthrough. I did a walkthrough in my old house of moves recently, and um, I just did like a walkthrough of kind of how my house is set up and shit like that. But over the past, like, I would say past few months, like four or five months, I've actually gotten like close to a dozen people that have actually emailed me or reached out to me or messaged me asking how I make my videos, um, just because I guess the quality comes out pretty fucking good. Um, I'm an AV home theater snob, I, lo I have a projector, that's why I watch TV, I love audio, I love video, so making videos clear, and not just audio-wise, but video-wise, is always kind of paramount for me, and uh, so I kind of looked into a bunch of shit before I even started doing videos, anyway, um... Yeah, so I dig when shit's clear. I like HD. I'm HD snob. What do you want to say? So, a bunch of people have written me, asking me um, how my shit is set up, so I figured I'd make a quick video, do a quick walk through the house that I'm in now, and uh, tell you guys how I record my videos. So there you go. So, if you're looking for a beer review or anything like that, you can shut this shit off. But if you want to see how I do my shit, then uh, watch on, baby. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so let's see, first off, let me get out of this room. This is the room I do, like, all my web um, podcast stuff in. I have the actual, those are soft boxes. Those are the lighting, that's the lighting I actually use for um, my uh, videos and shit like that. The reviews themselves, but I just have them up here for doing, like, Google Hangouts and shit like that because I have a separate room and this don't enjoy it, so it's loose. Anyway, let's take a walk downstairs. Got kitchen in a new place, leaving cupboards open. I got a closet. Uh, yeah, beer fridge. The old beer fridge from the old place. All the stuff I'm waiting to review. Some jubilation, really old Belgians, some good stuff floating around in that sucker. That's my bottom shelf of that's the beer I'm allowed to drink, I guess you would say, down there. And this is the review area. This is the area that I actually um, do review stuff in. Let's go in here. Let's see if I can actually get this little tripod thing to actually fucking work. So let's see. So yeah, this is a uh, this is where I do pretty much everything. Um, like I said, I I do the most important thing if you're gonna make videos is you want to have good lighting. And I use these soft boxes. Soft boxes. You can buy them pretty much anywhere. These are super ghetto cheap soft boxes. I'll turn the lights off on this one. Let's see what it looks like. Um, super ghetto cheap ones I got on Amazon. They were for the stand and the soft box itself, not the bulbs. It came out to be like right around 80 bucks for the pair. Some people would be like, oh, you spent fucking 80 bucks on fucking lighting? Sure, because I like shit to look good. So, But it's not that expensive. It's actually really cheap when it comes to soft boxes. All you have to do is buy the bulbs. That's the other important thing. You definitely want to have lighting if you want shit to be clear. It's the most important thing. Because I actually do all my filming. I'm doing it right now on my iPhone. So you don't need some fancy expensive camera to do all this shit. Um, lighting is paramount. So, uh, like I said, got these. Um, I'll put links and shit down at the bottom where I got everything, I guess. And um, these were about 80 bucks for a pair. And then you have to go get the bulbs. And the bulbs is probably the most second most important thing to buy. You can see these are just ghetto CFL bulbs. But if you look on the bulb itself, see if I can actually see on any of these. On the ballast on these, you might be able to see, you might not. It actually t gives you a temperature, a bulb temperature. Now, bulb temperature actually isn't the temperature the bulb is, like physically, like Fahrenheit or whatever. It's the actual light that is produced. When you have bulbs, you want to get close, as close to daylight as you can. You can get what's called 6,500K or 6,000K bulbs. Those are pretty much pure daylight. I use 5,000K bulbs because they're cheaper and they work just as good. You get a four pack of them for between 10 to 20 bucks at your local hardware store. It reproduces pretty much as close to sunlight you ever take photos outside and you notice how photos come out really good outside but they come out shitty indoors it's because you're like bulbs outside natural light shit comes out better so buy if you buy these or you buy any kind of soft box and you have cfls or whatever always look for bulb temperature you want as close to six thousand k as you can get five thousand works fine for me um 
tripod, obviously. I have a tripod laying around. This, I have a couple of them, actually, so I didn't need to buy one. These little ghetto, little kind of quick-release cell phone things cost like a dollar or two on eBay. So, that's not fucking expensive at all. And I just have a ghetto light. I like that thing shining down on the beer. just makes shit look right. You know, I make marks all on my table for placements and shit like that. About to do just did a fucking Venus Nitro, because why? Yeah, it's a beer. You got to review it. And I got a beer mill that I have to do coming up. So, so yeah. Um, you know, background's cool and all that shit. You don't need a fancy background. I used to do three-point lighting. Actually, if you want to look up the basics of lighting, go on the internet, go on YouTube, look up three-point lighting. It's basically what you want is you want uh, two lights, one on each side, um, and then you typically want a third one, which would be up there where those top bottles are. That used to be that light there, but this room is so compact, and that's the thing. I do a lot of reviews, well, I do a lot of reviews because I want to do them, but I also do them because I have, it's a real easy setup. The way this is all set up in this little room, that's only like a eight by six foot section, is everything's here. Basically, this, this, this table is just pushed back a little bit, and everything's here, and it takes me literally less than a minute to set everything up. I have like markers on the floor where I kind of put everything, so that way... When I want to do a review, it's less than a minute to set up. It makes everything infinitely easier, and it's consistent with the markers on the floor. I don't have to worry about getting the camera angle right every time. I just plug it in and go. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. To get everything, like, you don't need a lot of room to do it. You just have to set it up to where it's easy to do, to where it's not a chore to set up and break down each and every time. So, yeah. Lighting, super important. Doesn't have to be expensive. Can be ghetto. Tripod. You know what I mean? Get a stand. Like I said, I use my phone. I'll go over the apps I use and all that bullshit in a minute. Um, I have like a third light that actually shines out in a beer just makes shit work. And just get a dead If you can get a dedicated area set up to it, it just makes your life that much freaking easier. So, yeah. That is my uh, little kind of video room setup. And let's go over apps. Okay. If you're going to use a professional camera, more power to you. Um, you know, if you know what you're doing with a professional camera, that's awesome. But a lot of us aren't fucking videographers or whatever you want to call it. So, and to go on, I mean, if someone has a dough, if you want to drop thousands of bucks on a camera, like I know um, Nick from, uh, from Maxwell Star Beer Reviews, he has like crazy expensive camera, but he's a photographer. So he's in all that kind of stuff. But a lot of us aren't in that kind of stuff. So, I use my iPhone. I'm going to show you my iPad because I'm using my iPhone to actually film stuff. Um, so, there's a bunch of apps when it comes to what you can use. Um, there's a, I used to use an app called Filmic. I don't know if I actually have it on here. Uh, I don't think so. I switched to this one that's called Movie Pro. Now, if you're going to use... Uh, I love this uh, app. The other one, they do pretty much the same thing. The other one just started to fuck up. Anyway, Movie Pro... It, you need, I don't see, you need this to make video reviews on your iPhone if that's what you're doing. I don't even know if they have this on Android or anything like that, but you can see here, basically what this gives you is the ability to fine tune everything. So it's just like your regular camera app, but if you look, there's a little reticule that pops up. This is the most important thing with this. What you can do is you can actually separate it. You can sit here and what you have now is focus. So that's going to focus on whatever. And this is balance. Like you can do white balance and color and all that stuff. So I put it over here. The video will get a little bit darker up there. You can see the video get a little bit darker. But if I bring it down to a darker area, it gets really white. It's kind of important when you're doing videos and shit like that because you want everything to be consistent. So typically what I do, pick a center point, which is pretty much going to be the, somewhere between the beer and me so you can get both of them. Pick, I put this on test to see what works. Put this on something good color-wise. And then you can just lock those suckers in. You can actually sit here and lock, like, exposure and white balance and shit like that. And focus, if you wanted to lock in the focus, I usually don't. So, so yeah. yeah. I mean, an app like this, I think it costs, like, four bucks. So, four or five bucks for something that's going to work fucking awesome. That's fucking great. So, if you're going to go the route most people do, which would be use a camera or an uh, your, your iPhone or... Something like that, that would be good. If you want to use, like, a webcam, some people do that, too. Pretty much the same thing you can get, like, software that you can use to focus and stuff like that. Now, I should have probably sit, put this after the um, the uh, uh, light portion of the show, but 
The next most important thing to camera quality is audio quality. And I'm going to pop this off here. And show you, I use an external mic. Go get yourself an external mic. They make all kinds of cheap, like, ghetto external mics. Um, the, uh, iRig makes one. I used to have one. I think it's floating around here somewhere. This thing worked good for me for a while until it, it actually, I lost it. This thing here, these, this you can get for like twenty nine ninety nine or something like that. Just pops in the headphone jack. Works for with a lot of um, mobile phone shit like that. It's just the sound quality is going to be infinitely better if you use something like this. I used to use this until it was it wasn't it wasn't this thing's fault. It was the operating system iOS eight. Anytime you rotated the mic jack, it would make music play automatically. So this if I with this moved while I was recording, it I'd lose audio. So it pissed me off to the point where I bought this, which is a bit pricier. This cost $110. It's a proprietary mic that goes right into the lightning port in the iPhone. I don't know if they make these for, like, Android phones or anything like that. But this gives me, like, crazy good audio quality. Um, I mean, it's a bit pricey. Some people don't want to spend that much on a external microphone, and I totally get it. But I like gadgets, and I do a lot of filming outside of the beer world. And shit like that. So, and I do a lot of video stuff, audio or audio editing. I do video editing. I do stuff like that, multimedia editing. So it comes in handy for me outside of beer reviews. So it makes sense for me to buy something like this. But uh, if you have money to spare, definitely just get any kind of external mic, whether it's that iRig or something like that. That's something I would absolutely 100% recommend. And last portion of the show, we will come in here and editing. Um, a lot of people actually made jokes and be like, "Oh man, you do so much editing and and uh, you uh, you know you spend all this time on uh, on editing your videos." And I actually don't. Um, I actually don't spend that much time at all. And I'll show you what I do real here, real quick, get to set up. Um, pretty much when I do with editing, again, you there's free software out there you could do video editing with. I think Virtual Dub is one of them. Um, things like that. You can do a lot of video editing for free. I use Adobe Premiere Pro. It's an expensive uh, program. Um, but, like I said again, I have, and you're going to see the screens will look weird with rainbows because I use a projector and not a TV. Um, the um, I use this outside of my beer life. So it makes sense for me to have this. It used to be hundreds of dollars to buy this program, but now I believe it's like, you can get a monthly kind of subscription to it to where it's like 15, 16 bucks a month. And if you're actually like a student, it's even cheaper. You get way more shit. Anyway, when I do video, video editing, it's super easy. I basically, if you actually saw there, I'll reopen it again. You basically make a, a, a template file. You know what I mean? And like I have here in Mass Beer Review, 60 frames per second. I just load it up. And all I literally have to do to edit any video is just take any video I have. And throw it in here and find the beginning, which would be there. Me, how you doing, YouTubes? Let's say right there was the beginning. I don't want to find it exactly. Just cut that sucker. Let's go back over here. You find the end. Cut that sucker. And this is how easy it is. And I do this shit actually remotely at work half the time because I you can remotely access my computer. And there you go. You're done. You have this video overlay here is all preset. So you just make that throughout the whole video. And I'm done. And then, like, all I have to do is go export media and then name it whatever you want. You know, let's name it blah, blah, blah because it doesn't need an actual name. I don't know why my keyboard's not working right now. There we go. Name it something silly. Okay, just for the sake of saying. And here's the big thing about like programs like this. If you, you get to know them or you get used to them. A lot of people do editing. They edit video to video. Stuff like this. You can actually sit here, click Q. And what I'll do is when I'm bored one night, it'll pop open this little dialogue. And there's your pricing actually for Premiere Pro. I looked it up before I did the video. And uh, this little window pops up. And then all I have to do is... Keep doing the, you don't even have to do much of anything. And then just load another video. For some reason my keyboard isn't working. And uh, do the same thing, you know. 
I would uh, let's say I did this, and let's say this is all done, and I trim that out and do all that stuff. That would, that would take me a couple seconds. Again, name this thing something. Save queue, and basically you sit there and trim each video, and it adds it to your queue. A lot of I know Final Cut has this option. I know um, Premiere Pro does, but then basically you can sit here and you can edit like 10 or 15 videos in a matter of like 20 minutes. And then when you're done, you just click play and it converts them all in one time so you don't have to do it video per video. So yeah, it's pretty easy stuff. So that's pretty much how I do all my stuff. Um, yeah, uh, really not much to it. Um, it's just simple, you know. Uh, like I said, basics is um, essentially basics are lighting, man. That's the most important thing you could... Uh, you could do is have good lighting um good lighting and is the paramount thing so like i said cheap soft boxes super cheap cfls 500k or higher um get yourself an external mic it doesn't have to be anything expensive i know my buddy um lou brew who does uh, a lot of homebrew stuff on his youtube channel he just took an iphone head pair of headphones with a mic on it cut off the headphone part and then left the mic part and uses it as like a lavalier mic. So you can do something like that and then a super ghetto. Um, yeah, like learning the recording device that you're going to be using, I guess you would say, would be the other thing that you'd want to figure out, which would be I use my phone, so I have apps that I know how to use and know how to work with white balance and color. And But if you have a regular... Um, a good camera, you'll be able to do that manually in there, or if you have like a uh, webcam, you should be able to do it from there too. Um, and then uh, editing, man. it's Editing does take a long time, and a lot of people bitch and moan over it, but you know, once you get used to it, you get in the pattern, it's pretty easy. So, there you go. Figure to give a quick walkthrough of the shit that I use um, to make videos um, because people keep asking. So, there you go. If you have any questions or anything like that about how I do my stuff or whatever, you know. Ask below or send me a private message if you want, if you don't want people to know you're asking. And I'll share whatever I have. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this like weird walkthrough slash tutorial thing. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.